What's up guys? Here I have joined with me my colleague Alex Sunk. We are dressed pretty weird right now and uh, it's because we're actually going to be going out to a special event in Reno starting in about two hours so we're not dressed in this just because we, we feel like it. You want to introduce yourself real quick? Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Alex like Ryan said and uh, like he said I'm also a first year medical student. So to get things started with week nine, as I was portraying a little bit early before, uh, if I have something, it was a pretty chill week. We just got done with our block one exam. I believe it was what, one week ago now. Yeah, to, the from whole today. final. Yep. It's crazy to think that it was one week ago because it's been a completely relaxed week. And um, as far as like stepping through it, kind of what that was, I'm just gonna, gonna get a word from Alex to see you know what he thought about week nine. So what, what did you think about week nine? Um, in general it was good, so uh, I don't know what Brian said earlier, but it was mainly just statistics. So it was like a crash course in statistics and like how to read uh, scientific articles and stuff like that. So for me personally, I didn't think it was terribly useful. I already had a lot of this stuff before, but I see how it would be valuable, especially for some of the people that like don't have a science background or haven't worked in research labs. But in general, I think that the week was definitely really chill, like Brian said. But I wish I wish it would have been uh, I wish it would have been uh, like right before our next block test because you know everyone needs time to study at that time and it would have been a good time to have a chill week. And then touching upon that, so there's of course a game plan with every single block. If I didn't make this obvious before, or if I just didn't even say it in general, every single block has a block director, which is essentially just I think like two faculty members. Yeah. Maybe it could be one faculty member. We really don't know they're in charge of organizing the entire blog and, and their game plan for this one instead was last year they went ahead and had it so that the, the, the first years who were going through this block had the whole entire week off, it was just a self-study thing. They decided to change it this year based on the feedback that they got and so what we're doing this time is it's the first week right after the block exam we go ahead and do the, the bio and, ep and uh, what is it? epidemiology. Right. Specifically is what it was. That was kind of the game plan with that. So you've taken bio statistics before, so why, yeah. why is it so important to go ahead and learn this stuff? Especially as someone that is uh, going to be a doctor, you're gonna have to learn a lot of stuff. And the way that you're gonna learn once you become a doctor is reading journal articles. And so just to understand what they say in the articles, you're gonna definitely have to be able to understand the statistics. And I think one of the things that's really helpful for learning how to read articles is definitely to do journal clubs like we've been having. I mean, not the ones that we have were particularly useful, it's definitely way too many people. Like, you need just like seven to nine people to read the same paper and come together and talk about it. And that's, I feel, is the best way for me to learn from like articles. Let's have you walk us through Monday through Friday what exactly we did. This week was, again, one of the lighter weeks. So Monday we had a case of the week, which I'm sure you guys have heard about before, it's mainly they, uh, we get the information for a case and we get together in our small groups and we kind of discuss, oh, uh, what would we do if we had a patient like this, what's our differential diagnosis, what kind of uh, labs and tests do we want to run, and so we had that on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday were basically all the same, so we got uh, a one hour stats lecture at the beginning, and then we had a uh, kind of like a journal club, but it was just with our like entire class where we discussed a scientific article that we uh, had read the night before. And so that basically happened uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then Friday we had the wrap up for the case of the week. And then kind of it kind of stinks for, uh, I guess, whoever was teaching the block in specific. It was actually fourth year students that were doing it this time. Right. I, think I already mentioned that before, but Alex could probably agree with me too, like I said, it's just every time I, I went home, I didn't feel like doing anything. Oh, definitely, <laughs> I totally uh, agree. <laughs> After uh, taking the block one exam, it just it just kind of like the the work. I don't want to say work ethic, but maybe just just drive to to keep working. Our our minds were just in such a state of relaxation that when we had to go home, do the homework for the bio and epistats and everything like that, I just did not feel like doing it really. <laughs> yeah, and I think going along with what Brian said, it's definitely one of those things where like you give it your all for like the block like final, and then you just don't have anything left. You got to recharge a bit. And you know, that's kind of why we're dressed up like this. We're gonna go do fun things. And uh, medical school is definitely not as 
uptight or intense as you might think it is. There's definitely a lot of good people that want to go out and do stuff and that's what we're going to do. Yeah, up to this point, I will say. I, we were talking about it early and I've been talking about it with the other medical students as well. Block one is, you know, it's the introduction block, of course, to the first year. And maybe it is that like they're just introducing us, easing us into the curriculum right now because we've heard from like the second and third and fourth year students that the second block is it can be where it really kicks off because what we're doing is we're going to be specifically talking about cardiovascular and renal is the main subject of block two. And that's, you know, where of course like the real, and maybe, maybe it's not wrong or right to say this, like the real clinical application of uh, what we're going to be learning in the next couple of years. So no more basic science stuff. This is going to be an exciting block for some people, but for people who maybe had a basic science background, this is potentially where it starts to get hard. Right, I agree. Definitely, I think everyone gets equalized. Yeah. If you have a science background like I do, and like I'm one of the few people that also went to graduate school before I came to medical school, you definitely have a leg up uh, in terms of the first block because it's all basic science, but you get equalized at the second block because no one really has studied cardiovascular or renal like in depth before coming. So I think he's definitely right that this is going to be the start off of the very difficult stuff. So. I kind of lied about it being a chill week. A lot of people actually were trying to focus on that OHP that we have, which is the observed history and physical. And that's that was basically the equivalent of our first big exam for, for POM. So as I said before, POM is the practice of medicine. And all of the stuff that we've been learning up to this point, which was uh, how to take a history, how to go ahead and do a physical exam, we were tested on that actually this week and everybody was just preparing for that. Uh, to talk about my experience with that, so I had mine upcoming on Wednesday. Uh, I knew it was only about eight weeks of prior experience with the class, but as you're walking through it, like I honestly can't even believe we're in week nine already. Like right. the time just really flies by. Uh, I had a little bit of self-doubt coming in before the weekend as to whether or not I could do this thing, but it, it's very surprising actually as to how much the, the medical school prepares you to go ahead and do that. They don't throw a lot of stuff at you during the lecture itself, but when you're learning about it in the, in the textbook, there's actually a lot of stuff and sometimes, I don't know if you agree with it, but you can doubt yourself as to whether or not you can be able to pick up all that stuff. On Wednesday, I went ahead and took mine. I went and felt pretty good about it. I think I, I only missed one thing. Besides everything, uh, everything else, everything went smoothly. I had a fun time with it and I was completely glad it was over once it was done. Alex, on the other hand, had it on Thursday. Do you want to talk about yours? I think what was interesting about the OHP is this is what people think of when they think of like what a doctor does, right? I think we have this class like once a week and just for a couple hours and it's amazing that to me that it's, you spend so much time gathering the knowledge but like the actual patient encounter stuff, we don't get that often. Mm. And I think it's definitely one of those things that you, you learn by doing. So like we don't really have that many lectures for Palm. It's just mostly uh, they give us a list of the things they want us to learn to do this week and then we just go in and we try it on someone and you try it until you can do it. Just try it on someone. Yeah, you try, yeah, you try it until you can do it. Like, so like any listening to your, yeah, any random person. I, you know, I've practiced on like my mom and like, you know, on all my friends and stuff. Like that's how you get the practice. Okay, so for anybody who wants to know a little bit more about you, or maybe wants to relate with you, they came from the same background as you. Oh, okay. Can you talk a little bit about your, if I like to call it like uprising through undergraduate sure, sure. and how you got into medical school? So again, like Brian said, my name's Alex, uh, born and raised in Reno. I went to high school here. I went to undergrad here at UNR. Um, I got my degree in neuroscience and I also did one of the uh, combined bachelor's and master's programs here in biotechnology. Um, I've been doing research in uh, immunology, specifically uh, natural killer cell lymphocytes for about three years now. Basically, I, I kind of knew I wanted to go to medical school the entire time, but uh, I also discovered that research is definitely something that I like doing, so I just took a bit time, took a bit of time off to do, uh, to do that. And then let, let's, let's talk about last uh, couple of things as far as sure. week nine. Are there things that, uh, and let's look back passes and you talk about medical school pass mm -hmm, and maybe sure. even before medical school. Is there anything you're looking back at now that you wish you would have done during block one or even perhaps before medical school uh, that would have that would have been made it easier for you as far as your experience went with block one? One of the things that I really like about coming to medical school is it's, it's, it's school again. I had a pretty tame like undergrad and grad school experience, so it's kind of been my time to go out and do stuff with friends and meet a lot of new people. 
and uh, you don't have to stress about like doing all these resume fillers and all that stuff because you're already here and you're you're ready to go. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, you have time and you can actively choose to do anything that you want to do. Yeah, as far as week nine goes, that was pretty much it. Like I said before, it was a very chill week. Block two comes in about two more days. Everyone's actually pretty excited about it. Like for some reason, this break is just yeah. Had a lot of people waiting for block two to start. I'm excited about that. Alex, you excited about yeah, it? Yeah, I think everyone's anticipating the start of what everyone thinks medical school is going to be about. Because you never think about like, oh, I have to learn all this basic science stuff, right? But now we're actually getting into the stuff that has the most clinical applications. And the majority of diseases out there have to do, have to do with either cardiovascular or renal. And so like, this is, this is why we're here and I think that's why everyone is excited. And that wraps up week nine, guys. If you have any questions, uh, concerns, comments, anything like that uh, for me pertaining anything with week nine, or if you actually have any questions that uh, you want to direct towards Alex, as a matter of fact, if he's okay with that, I can get in contact with him. I'll shoot them his way and then have him answer those questions that you guys may possibly have. Yeah, definitely. If you guys have any questions for me, feel free to uh, reach out and uh, Brian will let me know what those are and I'd be happy to answer those. Thank you guys for watching. See ya. See you later. Yeah. <laughs>